Hey, it's Angela from Mod Cloth, and this is Julie from Mod Cloth as well. And we're going to show you how to make a mossy terrarium. Mossy terrariums really like humidity, and so you want plants that like humidity and moisture and that can live in a closed off container. The materials that you need are a clear glass container with a lid, like this one. Um, Julie has a nice big tall one, which is nice rocks like these to put inside at the bottom of your terrarium. You can just get these at a plant store. You want a little bit of activated charcoal and I'll show you what that's for in a bit. You want plain potting soil and you want uh, plants like I said that like humidity things like this sheet moss, reindeer moss or lichens, First you want to put a layer of the rocks at the bottom here and you want about an inch or so and it's very loud. Get ready. Since the container doesn't have a hole for like water to come out of it, the rocks will kind of act like drainage and uh, keep any water that the plants don't need in the bottom and then once they need them the, the humidity will recycle. Then you need um, a little bit of the activated charcoal. And you can just sprinkle just, just a little bit of a layer on top of your rocks. The activated charcoal acts as a filter. Because your terrarium is going to be closed off, the same uh, water and moisture will recycle throughout. So in order for that water to stay pretty fresh and mold free, the charcoal needs to be in there to keep things uh, not getting funky basically. I'm going to put in just a little bit of soil because since I'm adding potted plants I'm going to use some of the soil from their pots as well. I'm going to just put like a little layer like so. Next I'm going to cover, I'm going to start putting greenery in and I'm going to cover the bottom of mine part way with this sheet moss and you can get this at like a I guess like at any florist store at, or like a garden shop and it comes in a big plastic bag it's kind of like it's kind of like grass for your terrarium I'm just gonna like cover some of it um let's add some of this reindeer moss this stuff is really cool it's actually a lichen and it's um if you're familiar with those they're um, just kind of self-sustaining plants. They just need to like be on something. So it's a really nice bright green. I'm going to put some of that in there in the corners. Add some depth. There's some dark moss too. The cool thing with this, this like, this like reindeer moss is if it gets dried up, you can just put it in water and it'll revive itself. It's really cool stuff. I'm really excited to finally use my plant. I got this polka dot plant. Um, it likes humidity a lot, not a lot of sunlight, so it's pretty perfect for an indoor terrarium. I'm just gonna put it in the corner here and get some of the soil out. Here, you see that? I wanna put it up against the sides because if you do that, then the plants will kind of feel suffocated and my, their leaves might rot. And also um, note that I'm, I don't want to put this whole thing in this little container. Just like one little bunch is enough. This might even be too much, but I'll see how it goes. If it gets to be too much, I'll just take some out. Well, here comes the fun part, I think, the most fun part. That's looking pretty nice, but it's certainly missing something. and. I have this container of toys here that might do the trick, but I think, you know, I think I'm gonna put my cat inside. This, this looks like my pet cat, Nina, so I'm gonna put her inside. See that? That looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> going along with my pine forest inspiration, I got these little plastic pine trees that I'm gonna add. And I also, um, something that you can do is make your own little props, um, just using Fimo clay. I made this little mushroom here, which is super cute. 
and I also made a Sasquatch to go in my pine forest. <laughs> my cat just jumped out the window. <laughs> like I said, you don't, since this is only closed off and the moisture is going to recycle throughout the whole thing, you don't need a lot of water. If you overwater it, it'll just, it'll, won't be right. Everything will get soggy and the, these delicate leafy plants might just not survive. So I'm just going to mist this a little bit, just like so, and close it up. And that'll be pretty happy in there. And then um, I just put like th three little spritzes in um, to this. Maybe for a bigger one like Julie's, you want to do like four or five, but you seriously don't overwater it. If you overwater it, then you're done. You can always add more and you can't take out any. It looks like it just rained in my magical <laughs> imaginary forest. That's because I just sprayed it. But uh, that was super easy, as you can tell. And that's really fine. cool. I really like it. I like yours. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you ever make one of these on your own, be sure to show us pictures or upload your own video and share it with us. Thanks.